each time you send an email, call up someone overseas, browse an international website or post a photo online, the bits and bytes are traveling at astronomical speeds along an ultra-high-tech cable deep under the ocean. Carrying almost 99% of the global internet traffic, submarine optical fiber cable systems are the foundational communications infrastructure of the modern world. So, let us see how a submarine cable is installed. A mainlay vessel is positioned at a point near the shore where the depth of the water is 15 to 20 meters. From there, a support boat tows the floated cable to the shore where it is pulled by a hauler to the manhole and connected to the cable landing station on the other side through a terrestrial cable. The mainlay vessel then resumes the rest of the cable link using the plow machine that precisely buries the cable in the seabed, typically up to a water depth of around 1,000 meters, beyond which the cable is surface laid. Finally, an ROV is deployed on the seabed for post-lay inspection and burial at specific portions of the burial sections to ensure flawless cable deployment. Be it the Lakshadweep or the Andaman and Nicobar archipelago, India's remote islands lack robust telecom services. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi took the initiative to provide them with much-awaited high-speed digital connectivity as part of the Digital India mission. The Government of India chose Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited or BSNL to carry out the challenging task funded by the USOF under the Ministry of Communications. BSNL awarded the projects to NEC India for laying two separate submarine OFC systems spanning thousands of kilometers. Leveraging decades of experience, NEC is a global technology leader delivering complex turnkey submarine systems in most formidable marine environments. It began working on Kani, the Chennai Andaman Nicobar Islands cable system in June 2018. By September 2020, India's first domestic submarine OFC system was operational and eight islands of Andaman and Nicobar were connected with Chennai through a 2300-kilometer long undersea cable capable of supporting up to 25.6 terabytes per second capacity from Chennai to Port Blair and 6.4 terabytes per second among island. The project for connecting 11 islands of the Lakshadweep archipelago with Kochi was awarded to NEC in September 2021 and the 1900 km long Kochi Lakshadweep Islands or KLI submarine cable system was delivered in July 2023. The cable system supports 200 gigabytes per second data from day one and is capable of supporting 9.6 terabytes per second as per design capacity. And as technology is wont to do, KLI project is expected to transform the lives on these faraway islands in myriad ways by enabling easier access to empowering tools like education, healthcare, trade, tourism, e-commerce, e-governance and knowledge sharing by providing state-of-the-art connectivity not just within the country but with the rest of the world. If fiber optics is the future of communication, submarine cables are the invisible enablers of global connectivity and BSNL is leading this transformation in India.